We're all going to come for number two. I'm your host, Echo Fang Grey Wolf. The time is currently 9 o'clock in the p.m. And I've just done six songs. One is called, I Want to Know If My Life Matters to You. The other is called, Do I Matter to You? Now, if you watch one of these videos that tells you different titles, it's because the titles were subject to change. Which, if I'm posting that, I should probably put that in there. And if I didn't, I do apologize. Anyway, before we go any further, first and foremost, as always, I am in a good place. I am fine. I am good. And I am ready to go. Anyway, and I have a canker sore, which really sucks. But anyway, prior to that, I'm good. So, I wrote these songs because I'm going to have a lifeline battle with depression. And I'm not going to let it win. Not this time. I am never going to give in to depression. As bad as it gets, it has gotten worse. It has been worse. And I have got help for it. Which is why I'm in a good place. Thank you, Dr. Bishop. Thank you to my friends. The friends that I consider family instead of friends. Y'all know who y'all are. I'm not going to name y'all. Trying to make this video too long, too sappy. No. I've gone through a lot of shit in life. Which is another reason why I understand how a lot of people are where they are. I understand suicide better than most people. No. I understand a lot of things that people don't understand. I understand when people say, you know, I wish I was dead, or I'm better off dead, or something in that nature. And the reason is because I've been where they are, and you haven't been where we were. The hard part is the fight. The hard part is the acknowledgement and getting help for the fight. There are some friends you can tell anything, and there are some friends you can't tell a damn thing. It's kind of um, one of those situations where... What are they going to say when I tell them that I want to die? They're going to ask me why. I can shoot off a laundry list of why. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a lot of reasons worth living. I don't have a legacy. I don't have children. I have toys. People make fun of me. People have always made fun of me. I've accepted it. I have adapted and I have moved on. I joined the United States Army to die. Because I would much rather die a hero than a stereotypical person of color where they say, oh, he was a drug dealer. Yeah, I know some drug dealers. Doesn't mean one of them. Just means I know some. I don't do drugs. I don't support drugs. But I'm not going to judge anybody who does do drugs because if that's your escape, who the fuck am I? I know better than you. These are my new escape. G.I. Joe is my old escape. Without G.I. Joe, Transformers, the X-Men, and Spider-Man, I probably wouldn't have made it this far. Without Dr. Bishop, I know I wouldn't have made it to 50. Again, thank you, Dr. Bishop. Without Mass Effect, I know I wouldn't have made it to 50. Again, thank you, Dr. Bishop. Without the military, I wouldn't have found the purpose for living. Without the friends that I consider family, I wouldn't have a purpose for living. Without cosplay, when I jump into that Spider-Man 2099 suit, I feel alive. You know why I feel alive? Because people give a fuck. Even if they can't see my ugly ass face, they give a fuck. Where everyone else could care two shits. And then I have 342 of you. Because I lost somebody today. I had 343. I've been keeping up. But now I have 342. Doors always open. That's not going to depress me. I'm used to it. You know why I'm used to it? Because nothing I've ever done on this damn thing has gone viral. It's probably not going to go viral. I'm here so that my acting career can take off and so that people can notice. So if you guys want to shoot some stuff to Kevin Feige, shoot the stuff that doesn't have swearing in it and a YouTube channel. And also you can find me on 99 under Echo Fan Grey Wolf. I want to make it. I can't make it if I'm dead. Of course, you know, you can find all my shit after I'm dead. But I don't want to be like Bruce Lee. I don't want to have fame after I'm dead. I want to have fame while I'm alive enough to, to live it and enjoy it. But you can't enjoy life if you're dead. You can't enjoy the fruit of your labor or your hard work if you're dead. So fuck death. I'm going to fight until I can't. And you know what they tell us in the army. I am an American soldier. 
I am an army of one. I don't need my gun. I am the weapon, and I'm ready to roll. If you don't like it, go jump in a hole. I'll take it from here. Thank you all for listening. The 342 of you are another reason why I am in a good place. The 1,040 on TikTok. You are the reason why I keep fighting. The 996 people on Instagram. The 2,215 people on Facebook that I don't even go back to. You guys are the reason why I am in a good place. You are the reason why I am here. I owe you for every breath that I take. Because you inspire me to keep fighting. Even this dream, it's hell. This dream is like almost completely unattainable. The only part of the dream that is probably completely unattainable is me being lucky enough to marry the flawlessly, beautiful, and dangerously sexy Zayla Zayn. Outside of that, the rest of this shit is easy peasy. I just need my foot in the door. So all I really need is just one. And here's another thing. For acting, I don't need to be the star. I'm not trying to go big time Hollywood. I just want to be acting because it makes me happy. Or it's the best thing that I can do for me. I get to do Kung Fu. I get to do things that make me happy. And it's not a, a cake job. But it's worth it. Because I don't have to be me. I get to be me, but I get to be somebody else. And I get to pretend that I get to be the hero. I can finally be the guy, the ugly guy that gets the girls. You know? And I'm not close to voice acting. Hell, I'd be happy doing that. Then I know I can pull it off because no one can see my ugly ass face. And I know you're all thinking, why do you keep calling yourself ugly? One of the reasons of why I was depressed. Because people kept calling me ugly for years. And if somebody tells you something long enough, you start to believe it. So then you feel that way. And this is how people get depressed. This is how people unalive themselves. Because we don't know how something we said can affect someone else. And could fuck them up for the rest of their life. And so I'm not ever going to make somebody like me. Unless they want to learn martial arts. Now, it's raining. So we've had some fucked up weather. So I haven't been able to do any lives. So I do apologize to you guys for that. But I am in a good place. I am in a good place. I'm going to finish writing that book before I die. I'm going to get all of these videos on this channel before I die. God willing, I'm going to do that. My word is everything that I have. It is the only thing that I have. And I intend on honoring it. Come hella high water. I am in a great place. And I got off track. Like, completely off track. So I apologize for that. But, the songs. I want to know if my life matters to you. And do I matter to you? They come from that tiny little spot in the back of my head that has always made me wonder if people love me, if people like me, why has my life been so bad? And a lot of people don't ever sit down and self-evaluate. What did I do to get here? My answer is simple. I fucked up by being too nice. I fucked up by not saying no. I fucked up by putting everybody ahead of me. And I have nothing to show for it. The pain suffering so what can I do to change it every fucking thing I can which is why I haven't given up which is why I will not stop which is why unless the good Lord strikes me dead or a plane flies through the house or some shit that's like one in a million with my luck it'll fly through the house it'll kill everybody but me I'll be thrown from the house from the explosion because my luck is just that bad but you know I'm okay with it because I'm not done yet. I'm not done until the man upstairs says, Echo, you're done. Now, if you don't like the fact that I'm going by Echo Fan Grey Wolf, that's a you problem. Echo Fan Grey Wolf is alive and well. James Williams Jr. is on the back burner. And he's staying there until you write the check. And when you write the check, the check says James Williams Jr. But the world is going to know Echo Fan Grey Wolf. 
So brace yourself, because here comes Echo. 